hello everyone welcome to figma tips and tricks tutorial today i'm going to talk about the table so how we can create the table component and uh, here i am taking an example of order book so order book is having the different columns which is saying like a date symbol contract quantity price last trading price status and action so date is the it will be the similar means the kind of like a easy to enter we can use the text property but in symbol contract we have the variant here like uh, buy sell this two option is available and uh, for this contract like a delivery or intraday so two option is also here the same way we have here like a status executed expired and action which is having the multiple options like a done gtt reorder partial and cancel so like this uh, options are there so how we can create the component which will be suitable for the table component so let's start with the first example here i have created this table component with the three different way where i am showing first one is the like uh, options so if we look at the this example here you can see like uh, some of the data we can enter here like a column values date stock name quantity price limit or market ltp so last trading price we can enter easily and then status actions so while we click on here so here you will get the local instance where you will get the drop down option or you can say the option to select by yourself same way for delivery here you will get the option for selecting the delivery or intraday and in a status you will get the executed or expired if you look at the action here you will get the multiple option partial actions uh, reorder cancel gtt so this is just an example you can have uh, any other table data and create like this so this was uh, just uh, first one and just moving to the next one in the next one if i select this You can see here uh, all data are in a single row and which is having like a 25 September date and then here we have the option for buy and sell which we can make it true and false so I can make it true and false in a single row only and then we can enter the symbol or you can say the seed name and then uh, this also the same way which we have the delivery or intraday so suppose here we have the delivery so we can make it false and make the intraday true next is the quantity so quantity uh, which is having like executed quantity and uh, the total quantity so if it is uh, executed 100 out of 100 then we can keep the quantity 100 by 100 and price is having the two segment but i have created the simple way like a limit is directly we can write lim or market mrkt then uh, last trading price then again we have the executed and expired so which i have given as a toggle where you can switch it and make it true and false and the final one is the action so here you can write uh, whatever option is available like done gtt reorder and finally if you want to change the color easily you can select this and from here you can change the color so last one is having a order book where we have the simple entry like here you will get the date buy sell then the symbol then delivery or intraday quantity price limit or market ltp so directly you can enter the values here so three uh, 
three of this uh, component is created here and used for the three different variant you can see here the components so you will find here the component this is for the individual component for the row table whereas this is the example first so in this first example here I have having the text property and I have used this instance here you can see this is the local instance where which is used within this auto layout and the next one is the quantity so once you uh, select this you can write the quantity even you can create the single uh, like column wise this one also you can create the instance but uh, I thought uh, this will be very simple to enter the all data and whatever having the different values or options we can select like a buy sell executed expired and actions which is having the multiple options so this one is the first example now moving to the another two so this two is also created as an auto layout and uh, here we have the checkbox and this one which is using like true and false use with this uh, property component property and even you can add more uh, columns using this property here like boolean text or any other if you want to add more variant so instead of uh, adding more variant it will be recommended to use a boolean or text it will be a, like a very easy to use and whereas uh, if you want to just uh, make the simple table component which is based on the text property even not using any of the like uh, toggle or uh, options means local instance so you can have this where uh, you can directly enter like a date by or sell these options are available so now we look at this example in a running way so here these all are interactive so this is the basic uh, example of the table if you want to delete or uh, add some more columns you can do it in this component so next uh, I will create the table which is having the values with the local variable and this file is uploaded in Figma community you can easily uh, use this file Thanks for listening. Thank you. Thank you very much.